Hi guys, having another look at these effervescent tablets and the rockets I've been making with them. Uh, in the previous couple of episodes I've had some pretty disappointing results. Probably three to six feet maximum height I've been getting. Uh, years ago when I was doing it, I was getting, well, ten times that. Maybe as much as 30 feet in the air. And I'm not quite sure what the problem is. I tried these vitamin C effervescent tablets and they are fast reacting but it's not the speed of reaction I need. It's, uh, I think it's the seal at the end needs to allow the tablets to build up enough pressure before blasting the cap off and shooting it in the air. So this actual tube that these came in was useless. The cap on the end was very loose and well we probably got about two or three inches off the ground with that but the tablets were okay. The Superdent tablets are slower reacting and using this tube I put fins on it to hold it upright because if you just try and balance it on the cap, the cap bows out a bit as the pressure builds up and it falls over. So putting three fins on it, tripod style, enables it to stand upright. The best I could get with that was about six feet, roughly. Now I think it's just to do with the tightness of the cap. And I did wonder whether the super dent tablets had been made to a weaker specification than the original Sterodent that I was using years ago. So I've been and bought a Sterodent tablet tube. It's only a pound, or well, in fact 99 pence, although a Superdent are down to about sort of 50 pence or something like that, which is why I've gone for them. Anyway, so this is my latest untested Sterodent tablet uh, tube. I've made the fins this time out of, I think we call it Corex, it's corrugated plastic. This is quite thin stuff, it's not extremely strong but it's stronger than the foam I use on here. Hot glue doesn't actually grip on the plastic very well but it stays there as long as you don't bash it around so that's what we've got we've got a sterodent tablet tube and I'm just hoping it might be a bit stronger or tighter see so if we can get a bit more height out of it to put the fins on to space them evenly round the tube. I used a compass to draw this classic flower shape so that I could go one, two, three. Just stood that over it and marked the black lines around the edge there so I could guide where I glued my fins. Also drew a line round the bottom up about quarter of an inch because you don't want to foul the edge of the join. But that will now stand up nicely. And we'll give that a try. What I will do is I'll also replace the fins on this one with the same type of Corex. Um, we'll see if we can do a comparison, direct comparison, stand them side by side.
Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.